there, dear Melon Joya. So today we are going to be hatching a divine ancient void dragon in the form of Neil. And I do just want to quickly update you that we haven't really gotten any other news regarding the new Lost Tyrant stuff. The only update we've had is to Paola Rodrigo, so we know her name and a little bit of backstory. I don't care about this, but it is there on the Tyrant Update webpage, just in case you are interested. But without further ado, we have this bad boy to get hatching. So this is Neil's egg, and you can see he's got a black hole right in the center. And uh, I guess he's got a very, I'd almost say dark heart, but maybe a non-existent heart, even considering his lore. But of course, with him being an ancient divine void dragon, he does have really, really high stats. As in, he's got equal sets to Oya, Bahajir, and all of those other ancient divines that we've had before. Question is, is he going to be useful come the new Lost Tyrant stuff? Well, I guess we'll find out. We have had a couple of teases regarding the new element, but there aren't really any details. So rather than me go into that yet, I kind of want to wait until we get more details for that first. Apparently, there are some resistances with ancient which should be interesting but anyway neil is a being that cannot be understood by living creatures it exists only to spread the void which it believes is the perfect state of being it has no sense of right or wrong this trainer wonders if that can change exactly lexa she has no heart absolutely no heart no moral compass sounds kind of badass to be honest but I do know that coming into the Origin of Void event, a lot of people did like the design of Neil. Uh, I almost think Neil is over-designed, in a sense. Like, there's just a lot going on, and mainly the fact that the black hole is just, like, a very obvious 2D image, whereas all the other stuff is, like, almost 3D spinning around it. It just messes with my brain a little bit. But, you know, hey. I assume that not everyone is using Neil purely for the aesthetic reasons, because, of course, having such a high attack and health stat on a dragon, especially when it has a bless, is very, very good. At least in current meta, again, with the Lost Tyrant stuff, anything could change. It could be that we may need three Tyrant dragons in every team going forward. Or maybe Tyrant is actually not that useful and it's going to stay exactly the same. And that's why getting your hands on dragons like Neil, just in case they're still useful, I think was probably the best play from the most recent Void Ancient event. But then again, if he does end up being useless, it would feel a little bit pointless overall, even doing that event, which maybe it will be. We'll find out, but little Neil, Lexa, over here, look at her being very beautiful. Um, how about we go and take a quick look at her in a battle? Because if I don't do this now, I will never, ever be able to see her in a battle because it's never going to happen. Uh, so let's go and find our Ancients here. We've got Lexa. Let's throw some more Ancients in there while we're around. Uh, Bean. Yep, yeah, let's throw Bean in there. Then any others? Yep, yeah, let's throw Donna in there as well. So this is beautiful Neil. Of course, if you did want to get value out of using Neil in a team, you're going to need to get all of its elements unlocked, skills upgraded to level 6, because that's the only way that you're really going to get any use out of Ancients and Divines. Like, I talk about how good they are, but when they've got nothing unlocked, you'll see that they get mocked even by a Lynx Dragon. Like, that's it, they can't do anything. That's why skills are so important in DML. And I say this to new players all the time, like, you have to get your academy upgraded and you have to get your skills unlocked. Because otherwise, they're just going to suck. But, you know, at least we've got these dragons. We are getting close to 800 dragons now, which, you know, I'm not really too fussed either way about it. But at least we got this new Divine Ancient free, because I, don't, I haven't spent anything in almost 12 months now. Um, I think it's like a few days away until my 12 months since I was a, a DML spender. Isn't that lovely? You know, the main reason I, I point that out is not to it's not for any bragging reasons or anything. Because, I mean, I'm still playing DML at the end of the day. But it's just to show players that you can get dragons like this free to play without having to spend money. You absolutely do not need to spend stupid amounts of money in DML to get the major rewards. Obviously, it makes it a lot easier, but certainly don't need to do that. 
But anyway, let's collect some of our Dragon Master Pass stuff there. Lovely. And the only other things that we've got going on at the moment are the new Treasure Hunt event, which, me, I don't really care. But I'm probably going to be going for Magnus Horn, because Blue Seraph looks terrible. IMO, in my opinion. I really don't like it. We've also got Craggy and Vibrant as rewards, which I don't care about. So I'm probably going for Magnus Horn, but I will see how many amulets I get. And we'll see if it's possible to get Blue, Blue Seraph, but even if I get 50, will I take it? Probably not. So my goal is 30 amulets from this event. So if we don't get that, that would be really dire. But we also have the Dragon's Delight event on at the moment, of course, with the Eldritch Dragon, which is the dragon that was teased actually before the Origin of Void event. And he does have the Void element, but he was not an Ancient or anything. And he's just a rare dragon, which really disappointing to be honest and of course it's a leaderboard prize only which means that most players are not going to get their hands on it you know i guess this is a problem that a few people have pointed out now but i will also say it myself that you know gameloft was talking about releasing new dragons more often bringing back some of the old dragons more often as well which is great and fine and sounds great in theory but if all the new dragons that you're going to be releasing out of, like, outside of the major month-long events that, honestly, a lot of players ignore completely because they just, they don't do them. Outside of that, most of the dragons end up coming out in, like, leaderboard-only events or really annoying events. And I don't know about you, but it just really puts me off actually caring about getting new dragons pretty much ever anymore. It's like... Eldritch is there, and I'm like, okay, so I'm not going to get it. But if I happen to get it, great. Because, especially in my leaderboards with the IP20s, you're going to go against whales almost every single time. But any of those leaderboard dragons, I almost always reserve myself to failure. And, I don't know, it just doesn't give me any motivation to play this game. Dragon City, on the other hand, all of the new dragons and that, they're, they're pretty much all doable quite easily. But this game, no, they just want to make it leaderboard only, they want to cuck everyone, and it's just not interesting to me. So, even though we're bordering on 800 dragons, getting close, I just don't care anymore about the new ones that I'm getting. And I don't care about getting new dragons for usefulness either. So what is the point? You tell me. I don't actually know what the point is. Maybe the Tyrant Dragons will change that, but maybe it's just because I've played this game for too long. Nearly eight years now, so maybe that's just for me. But, oh, I already fed up a dragon, didn't I? Of course I did, I fed Neil. Silly sausage me. Anyway, we've got Dragon's Delight. I just wanted to collect all the points from that. And I've just been breeding these two, which it's not the most optimal because I will miss out on a couple of Dragon's Delight points, but it's the only way to really keep me on track with my logins. But, you know, we'll see if we get anything of value. If not, we'll at least get to 50 gems. But, you know, Eldritch Dragon, I'm not going to assume I'm going to get it. But at the same time, those are all of the new events going on. Make sure that you log in for Treasure Hunt and actually collect the items, which is what I failed to do the last time I played that, which was uh, a little bit embarrassing. But, you know, it's like you do the quest and then you just forget to log in and actually click the collect button. I wish it just auto-collected. Like, why do I have to go into Treasure Hunt to go into here to click collect? It's the pet peeve of mine for this event, you know? If they could change that, maybe I wouldn't complain as much. Just a little bit. I probably still would complain. Just, you know, I'm saying maybe slightly less complaining than usual. But either way... I know that the thing on a lot of players' minds at the moment is all that tyrant stuff, and especially with the teasers that people have been seeing about the new element. I know, I've seen them. I've seen the images. There's a reason I'm not actually mentioning it yet, and it's because I don't want to get into tons of speculation based on the images that I've seen. But, you know, they're going to be giving us more information soon anyway, so I don't think it's something that we need to worry about too much. I'm sure before you know it, we'll have loads of new information regarding those new tyrant dragons and everything else but you know i i, I say a uh, paola or paella i'm actually going to call her paulo uh, because it turned out the image file that was actually saved on the website to begin with for paola was it was actually paulo what they'd called her 
So, I think we're gonna lose this fight, aren't we? Because we are at Ikez Dragon. No! <laughs> uh, why? Ikez is the only one with AoE! I did not mean to use that either. Whatever. I hate, I hate it. That's what I get for not checking, but either way, you know, that's, that can happen if you've only got one AoE dragon and then you have to go against um, evasion. It's just annoying. The RNG and sometimes I don't even care. I'm just going to quit out. I don't do that usually. It's just, I just hate this game's RNG mechanics, so screw it this one time. Uh, but, hey Arla slash Paulo. That is what I'm calling her from now on, Paulo. It is going to be Paulo Fiasco, along with that new warrior chick, whoever she is. I don't really care too much. I don't know, how many of you actually care about the ML lore? Because I literally could not care less, I don't think. Um, I guess I care about collecting new dragons more than I care about collecting, you know, or finding out more DML lore. I guess that's a true fact. I guess we can stick with that. But I don't know. I just, uh, I'm still hesitant about the new events, put it that way, if you can't tell. But maybe we will be very, very nicely surprised, and maybe it will be something really nice and interesting, and these new dragons will actually make the game fun again. Don't know how that would happen, but... You never know. Could happen. Could happen indeed. But anyway, that is all the new info that we've got. And obviously we got our new Divine Ancient today. So I guess for now we will await some more news regarding this. All I know is new Pokemon is about to be released. So do I care about DML? Eh, probably not at the moment. 